Welcome to another writing week. Hey, good afternoon. Happy Monday. It's Monday, February 24th, the last week of February. How sad. I had a lot of intentions on this quarter going a lot differently and I sort of had to take a step back and think about where I wanted to be at this point and where I am. Now I had wanted to have a first draft of my young adult thriller completed by the end of the quarter. It was a very very big goal of mine but I think it was also a little over the top. In my mastermind group my goal for this week was to read through my outline that I did last October. So Saturday if you watched my previous writing vlog I was about to do that and then I ended the vlog because I wanted to make sure I had that one uploaded for you last Monday. I read through the outline and I actually still like the book. I have been thinking about it the past few days and I'm really really excited to dive into a more detailed outline. Like I said in previous vlogs, I want to do a really really detailed outline with this book. I want to get all the kinks out prior to drafting so that will help me when I do decide to finally fast draft it. I was a little nervous that I wasn't going to like it or I'd feel like it was like not great. Um, I do have a few things that I'm working out in my head. I had a little bit of a revelation. I wanted to incorporate certain aspects into the book and a particular person's storyline and I was unsure of how to do that other than blatantly doing flashbacks or something less creative than I wanted to. So I sort of figured it out. I have been immersing myself in other media, TV shows, movies, other books and I f think I came across uh, something that I want to do for this book. So I'm not sure yet. I want to definitely outline it, make sure that it works within the story and see where it goes from there. I'm sort of at a tug of war as well when it comes to certain aspects of the ending. It is a thriller so there'll be a big reveal about who the villain is and things like that. So um, I'm still trying to work through that. I think once I get a better start to my more detailed outline, that should come to me. I've had like the same person in mind throughout most of my iterations of the book, but for some reason it's just not sitting well with me in the way that I have it coming out in my head. Um, none of this is going to make sense to you. It all makes sense in my head, but this is just sort of my process on how I am sitting and thinking about the book and making sure that it's satisfying to the reader, makes sense to the reader, and also gives me a sort of upper hand as a thriller writer to have twists and turns and send readers in different directions than they expected and I want to surprise them. That's what I thought about a lot this weekend. I am still blasting through The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. I started about halfway through my road trip listening and I sort of wish I started sooner because I am just ripping through it as fast as I can anytime I can. I really really enjoy it. I did not see the twists and turns coming which is why I have this whole revelation about my book and wanting to make sure that the reader doesn't see my twists and turns coming because it makes for a really good thriller. I'm also reading uh, creating character arcs. I just finished the part, uh, the first part which is our weekly goal for my mastermind group and I have thoughts about it. I am using this one as my April uh, review for my craft book series so I don't want to go into too much detail and I haven't finished it yet but I do have thoughts. When it comes to craft books they're really particular on the reader especially for me because I have been reading them more that I'm starting to see a little crossover with some of them and I think this book possibly is for someone else and not for me because of what I've previously read. I'm gonna put my thoughts much more eloquently into the review, but I'm still interested in finishing the book. I want to see if the other parts maybe give a little more insight to me, give me a little tidbit of new information. So basically, uh, we'll see. So for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna take it easy. It has been a Monday, I am very tired. We had an important day at work and it was a little bit stressful and then kiddos activities and all my 
early week stuff. I have already prepared dinner. It's cooking right now. So I think I just want to take it easy for the rest of the night and I'll check in with you tomorrow. Hey, good afternoon. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday, February 26th, I believe. And here is Jamie once again trying to say hello. Want to say hi? She always misses me in the afternoon. She's a snuggle bug. So last night I had another meeting with my mastermind group and it was very productive. Uh, it was a very fast hour. Uh, like I said, we're limiting it to an hour to make sure that we're very, very focused on our goals and making sure that we're not just trailing off because we want to chit chat. So our goal was to finish the part one of creating character arcs. The next parts are next. That was a goal for this coming week. The first part was very long. It was about 150 pages and the others are a bit shorter. So I'm interested to see what I figure out if I glean anything from the book. My goal for the next two weeks, I don't think I'll be able to do it in a week um, and I want to spend a lot of time on it, is my synopsis for my young adult thriller. I already have the outline as I said but I really want to put it into a document which is more of a narrative about the entire story and I'm thinking this is going to be about 20 pages. My one for Barefoot on the Beach I think was 11 pages and this one I, I want to be a longer book and I want it to be much more detailed and I'm also toying with the fact of making it multi point of view. At this point I'm thinking two points of views. Um, one from my main character and one from the victim's point of view. I am just playing around with it for now. I'm just curious to see if it all makes sense and if it works for the story. So I'm excited to dive in. I'm actually very nervous. I have a little time right now and I've just sort of been futzing on the internet watching YouTube because I'm like I'm scared to start this process because once I get started I know I'm not going to be able to stop and this book honestly makes me nervous in general. I mean in 2017 I fast drafted I think it was 75,000 words and I spent a good part of the next year trying to revise it and it wasn't working and it wasn't working and it wasn't working and then in 2019 I drawered it. Uh, January, I believe, 2019, I drawed this book. It took a lot for me to do that. It's very difficult when you, especially after you've written a book and revised it for so long, to just put it away and say, I'm done, never coming back out. And then I had a little bit of inspiration in early 2019 and I wanted to rewrite it again. And that process has really brought me closer to where I feel very comfortable with the story. It's not shifting around as much in my head as it used to but it's still a little scary to move on and like start it with the fear of it like not working out and then having to draw it again and I'm just I have other stories that I want to write but this story is just like the one in the front of my mind right now so I have a strong feeling toward it and hopefully this is the one that I get an agent with so it's just a lot of feelings and I'm procrastinating like I'm doing right now so I am gonna jump in for a little bit I'm gonna open a new document and have sort of my outline next to it I want to start writing the story in chronological order because that's how I write books I can't really jump around. Usually I can jump around a little bit when it comes to like, oh, I need, I'm at the end of the story, I need to put this thread up higher and I can go back and do that, but I'm not going to work my way backwards. Sometimes I do reverse outlining, but that's usually to help me get unstuck in a certain situation, but I sort of want to just brain dump everything onto the page and just get the entire story out of me and, you know, hopefully I'll make some revelations and I really want to make this work in the way that I have been picturing it lately. So I'm going to wrap up here. I'll check in with you soon. So I just moved over my outline into Google Docs and it's nine pages. So that's already halfway there to my 20 page synopsis. So we'll see. Good morning! Happy Thursday! It's Thursday, February 27th. 
I look a little bit the same with my robe on, but it is a new day. So yesterday I worked on my outline for a little bit, and it was a very little bit, and I did not look at it again for the rest of the day. I got a few pages looked at. I am, I think I'm going to take the outline and then sort of separate it a little bit and then go back in and add a lot more detail because the outline as is is very detailed but as I said also too I wanted to do two points of view so I really want to look at the synopsis get that all done get that fleshed out a bit more and then I want to insert my other point of view what I think I'm going to do is possibly do another narrative like sort of a second synopsis just for that point of view so that I'm able to make sure that it hits all the same points because it's going to be a, you know, a story within a story. It has to have a point, has to follow all the same beats and plot points. And then when I do my chapter by chapter outline, I would really like to split up the points of views, at least in the first part of the book, try to have them alternating back and forth. I am really thinking about this book a lot. I'm getting excited about it, but I'm also nervous, as I mentioned. But I think as I make more of a point to do it every day, because I haven't looked at this outline since October, and this is just me sort of getting back into it. Saturday I looked at the outline, yesterday I actually started working on the synopsis, so I just need a little bit of time to get back into it. This morning I am working on um, an outline for a video that I'm going to be putting out in a couple weeks actually. I'm a little ahead of schedule and it's about writing schedules. I see a lot of people on social media saying, oh I never have time to write and things like that and I was that person several years ago, you know, I had a full-time job and I just never thought I could be a published author because I had a full-time job. And so many authors have full-time jobs as I came to understand. So I'm doing a little bit of a schedule. I have been through so many schedules um, over the past few years with my life. Working, then having a kid, then working with a kid, now working full-time with a family. So I hope it helps. I'm sort of going through and going back and thinking about my schedules around those times, so I hope those help. And that's it for now. I'll check in with you soon. Hey, good morning. Happy Monday. It's Monday, March 2nd. And this writing vlog is extending out. As you see, usually I start my vlogs on Mondays, but this weekend I dropped the ball a bit. I, uh, I didn't <laughs> close out my writing vlog. So as you saw on Monday today, I posted a writing craft book review, which made me so happy to be a little ahead of schedule so that I was able to have a video on Monday. I will link that above in the cards and description box below in case you're interested in checking it out but I did want to give another update for what I've been up to I started uh, take off your pants by Libby Hawker this is my March writing craft book review and I'm getting through creating character arcs by Cam Le Wieland this is for my mastermind group I only have I think about 20 pages left so when it comes to my outline my synopsis for my young adult thriller I have been slowly working through it. As I said, I have a lot of fears about this book for whatever reason, but um, I'm really excited about it still. I am really just focusing on the world and the book and really nailing down all the details prior to writing. So I outlined a bit on a second point of view, which is the point of view of the victim in the book, and I sort of I sort of had like paralysis when I stared at a blank page because I have all of these ideas in my head and I can sort of see it playing out like a movie the reading experience as a whole and what I want the reader to experience but when it came to writing it down I had a little bit of an issue but I am just taking a little bit at a time I am a chronological writer I do have the entire story written out chronologically but I'm just adding in all the details now so I'm reading it again realize that maybe there's a little bit of a hole here, fill it in, and do all that. So I have about 14 pages currently, and I've also added a bit of a backstory for one of my other characters that I really want to weave into the plot. You will probably not see much of it on the page, but I do want to get it all out so that when the final reveal comes, it all makes sense, and the reader can go back and reread the book, and it all makes sense. It's not jumping out at you. I'm just adding, sprinkling a little bit of backstory within this story. So that's what I'm up to now. 
now. I have a busy week this week. I'm supposed to receive my copy edits for Barefoot on the Beach. So most of the rest of the week will be with that. So I'm really diving into getting a lot done outside of Barefoot on the Beach today and tomorrow. So I want to make sure I have everything all set so I can really focus on my copy edits because this is the last time I'm going to see my book before it becomes a book. So I'm going to wrap this up here. If you enjoy my writing vlogs, do give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and the little notification bell next to it so you know the next time I upload, and I'll see you next week.